Hey, Mom. Yeah? We've got Allstate, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Well, I found this new thing called... Allstate Quick Photo Claim. It's an app. You understand that? Just take photos of the damage with your phone and upload them to Allstate. Really? So you get a quicker estimate, quicker payment, quicker back to normal. I just did it. But maybe you can find an app that will help you explain this to your father. Introducing Quick Photo Claim. Just another way Allstate is changing car insurance for good. So you got a new album out. It's like your fifth album. It's my fifth, fifth record, fifth studio yeah. album. Yeah. And it seems like you've had like ten records out. It I mean, feels like it because I've, you know, been able to work at a different pace than everybody else. So, uh, you know, I've just, I, I've put a record out every year up until this record. This will be one month shy of two years for me for this new record. Did you feel like, since you had been putting out a record a year, did you, did you feel like you were like missing the final exam or something? Was there a green fly buzzing <laughs> it, around in the back of your it head didn't, going gold? A little bit, but I mean, back was such a big song that I did with Jake. And then driving around song was such a, a huge song uh, that I did with Jason that it, it kind of, they, those songs just lasted a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I got a little more radio airplay than I've ever gotten. And so it, I guess it didn't feel that way, you know, I meant because of the, because of that. Uh, so it just kind of lasted a little bit longer, and then all of a sudden they're like, "We need to put out a record." Then they, you know, they throw a date down, and I'm like, "Man, I have, I ain't got songs together." <laughs> and it just kind of, it really just came together. And I'm sure you've been there where you're like, "Man, we got nothing." And then all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, we got everything," <laughs> uh, and that's kind of how it happened. Deadlines uh, have a way of uh, pulling stuff together, don't they? Well, I think Sh Shannon's my best friend. You know, we on the record label together, and I think he kind of. Screwed me on purpose. He told me a date that wasn't really. really. He's like, we got it. It's coming out May. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it's February. I'm like, really, May? And I hadn't recorded anything yet. So uh, it kind of, and then it got, and he's like, no, nah, it's July 1st. So it got pushed. But, uh, you know, that sometimes that pressure is a good thing. You know, I like that. I, I'm not somebody that shies away from pressure, I, you know, and uh, so I, I dig it. You seem to write a lot anyway. I do. I go through periods, though. You know, I, I was just playing a show with Cole Swindell, Cole's good buddy of mine. Uh -huh. You know, he's a Georgia boy. And he was like, man, I, he asked me, he goes, do you ever not want to write? And I was like, oh, yeah. And he goes, man, I was getting nervous because he just, you know, he's been writing for three years. Right. And all of a sudden his record comes out and he's like, I just hadn't wanted to write. I said, I go through, I'm sure everybody goes through periods like that where it's just like, I don't feel like writing right now. And, and I'll do that. I'll go a couple months and then I'll go. Couple months and write all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just kind of like that for me. That's the way it has been. I know it's. I mean, me and you have talked out doing this and that, and it's it's a little frustrating for you just not getting the average amount of radio airplay. F yeah. For an act of your stature, I mean, you've really you're selling albums like you know, like you should have a big. You would think there has been big some big hit hits on the radio. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's frustrating. You know, it can't help but be anybody says it's not would I mean, would say that that's not frustrating. I would think would be telling you a story, and I would if I told you that. I, you know, I've certainly had a tremendous amount of success without without having. I've never had a song inside the top fifty. Uh, you know, driving. I think Back's done over three hundred thousand downloads. Uh, driving around song. I know is getting pretty close to being a gold single, and it went to fifty eight. So. The numbers don't match up, you know, with the amount of record sales. We're well over a million records sold and physical CDs. So, but I want to be a part of radio is the thing that's frustrating. Mm -hmm. I want to be on the radio. I grew up, I'm not one of these, I'm not 27, you know, I mean, yeah. I, I'm an old guy and I, I grew up listening to the radio. So it's all I've ever known. So I still listen to radio. I don't plug in my iPod and stuff like that very much. I listen to my radio. I like listening in different towns to hear what their radio station sounds like. So, man, I'd be lying if I, t I'd, I, you know, most artists and labels would be pissed if they had a song that quit at 22. I'd have a big 22 party. I'd invite <laughs> you and everybody else. I would be pretty happy with that. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm hoping maybe this new record, maybe there's something on there that breaks through. I don't know. I, I would I would really, really like that to happen. I'd just like to have one on the chart where I could come on the countdown for real. <laughs> Well, there's got to, you know, if I was you, I would certainly take, um, and I, I'm sure you do to some extent, and I, and I hear your frustration, and it's, I understand that too, but 
You know, there's only a couple of acts that I can even think of who have cut their own road the way you have and established their own fan base the way they have to the extent that you have without radio. Yeah. And, man, that's, I mean, that's like hardcore. That's that's fans that, that really believe, that really buy your stuff. Because there's, there's a lot of acts over the years since I've been here that have worked the other way. Right. Well, they've had hits on the radio, and they've never sold any records. And or tickets they, or anything. Yeah, it's yeah. just gotten pushed up through radio. So, No, know, I'm proud of it. Yeah, I you am. should be, really. And, the, you know, it's been awesome that, uh, for me, for guys like you that I've always uh, looked up to and admired as, uh, as artists and uh, you know, that have always encouraged me, which is, that's very cool for me. I mean, you and Ronnie both have both been really kind and always encouraged me and, and, you know, said, Hey, you're doing good and keep doing it. And I do it for selfish reasons, man. Yeah. You're good. We well, <laughs> you know, I, I, I've been lucky. I mean, you know, to play music for a living is, I mean, what a gift and, and I'm not telling you nothing, you know, for a fact what it is. It's, uh, at the end of the day, I, I said last night, I'm playing a show. There's, up in Illinois, there's 4,000 people there, and, and I'm up there, and I said, man, I make music for y'all. I, did, I didn't make it to win an award. I didn't make, you know, I mean, I make music for the fans. Uh, and I think most artists, for the most part, feel that way, or I hope they do, because you, you, without them, we wouldn't be here, and you wouldn't have been able to do all the cool things you've done in your life and yeah. have that success. So I've always in, considered myself lucky and blessed. But at the same time, you, I, I don't sit around and go look at what I've done. I just try to keep going. I want to do more. I mean, that's just the way I was raised, I guess. I was sure. 37 years old before I saw my dad miss a day of work sick. I mean, it's just all I've ever known is mm-hmm. to get up and, and go do it and, and try to do it a little better every time. You know, you're, it seems like all your albums are duet albums. I do quite a few, yeah. It, but, I mean, it, I think that's really fun that – it's I don't know anybody in town. I you know Keith Urban's doing yeah. a song with you, which he seems a little out of your genre, if I can say such a thing. You know, he, I don't think of Keith as being a big mutter. Yeah, you know, but no, obviously, and, and I push myself a little bit with that song. It's uh-huh. a very different song for me, and and when you hear him on there, it it sounds correct. You know, I mean, so that was really cool to work with him. He's another one. You know, like you guys been. I've been able to work with you, you and Ronnie. I mean, guys are on my list of things. Like, I want to be able to do a song with those guys. Uh, and Keith is one of those guys, too, that I'm like, man, I'd really like. I've just, he's such a complete artist. Yeah, he you is. You know, he, he, he plays incredible. He and sings incredible. Guy. He write, And is about as good a guy as I've mm-hmm. met in the business, uh, as nice a guy as I've met in the business. So, yeah, I mean, it was really cool to do a song with him. And it's always really humbling. I mean, I, when I look at the list of artists that I've worked with now, you know, from from Keith and then Luke Ryan and Jason Aldean and Eric Church and Kix Brooks and Ronnie Dunn and uh, Charlie Daniels, Tim. I mean, it's just, it's unreal to <laughs> think that guys like you that have had success have been willing to be a part of, uh, of what I'm doing. And that's really, really very humbling to me uh, when artists that have had that kind of success, because I'm on a little independent record label. I can't, it's not like I can go out and afford to pay guys. To, and I tell people that all the time. Like, I don't pay these guys. I mean, it has to be a song that they like and believe in. And luckily, my relationships and my character, I think, has allowed them to believe in me. So that's it's happened organically the right way to me. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that feels real good to me. I think you told me one time that one of your frustrations with radio, and, and I was asking, I'm like, why do you care? Yeah. I mean, you know, you're you're having and a lot of people say that. <laughs> but I remember you, you you said something that that struck a chord with me that you know, without having radio hits, it's hard to get on tours and stuff oh, sure. like that. Those kind of things, big tours. That, and I thought, well, that makes sense. But then I see you're fixing to go out with Eric Church, right? Yeah. Oh no, I went out with Eric last oh, year. Did? I'm out with Toby now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Right. So that's uh again, yeah, it's start that's starting to break through. I mean, a lot of guys are starting to see. I mean, last year I did. A thing with Eric, uh, a couple months with Eric, and then I did the tour with Florida Georgia Line, right. and I was direct support okay. on both of those tours, and both so of them. So my info was late. Oh, that's all right. I mean, but both of them, both of them sold out, and everything. nothing bad happened. They were like, "Oh, Colt Ford did fine out there," and they still <laughs> sold a bunch of tickets. And uh, yeah, so that's, a, it, but it, it is a factor. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even talking to friends of mine that are big artists, you know, they're going, "Man, I want," but the people are going, "Well, you're not on the radio," and it's like, "Well, I, I, I get it, I get it," but. Barely, because um, uh, I, uh, I think if you're worth the tickets, that's what puts you on a tour. Well, you would think. I mean, in my mind, it would be. I mean, yeah. I, I'm going. Look, I mean, you know that I sell tickets. You know the amount of tickets I sell. I mean, so 
And I, for a fat dude, I move around pretty good. I, my show's pretty good. It's pretty rocking. It's real good. So for me, I think I, that was my frustration Even with a couple of big buddies of mine. I don't want to call their name. I'm like, why are you taking – come on, take me out. I need, the, I uh-huh. need the help. So it's starting to shake loose a little bit. And going out with Toby is yeah. really cool. I know you guys know each other sure. very well. And yeah. uh, he's been really cool. And then you see – I mean, you look out and you go, you see why the guy's – had this success and has that kind of reaction and and I look at it as a for me for somebody like that I look at it as just what an incredible opportunity he's built these fans for 20 something years and he's going here you go I'm giving you access to these fans I'm letting you in the house if you can if you can rock them mm-hmm. and they can be your fans too yeah. and that's the way I look at it I sure. don't I, I look at it that way I've heard artists say well I'm going to do this and I'm going to kick there but I'm like I just go out there and try to rock as hard as I can. Sure. I'm not, you can't kick somebody's butt when they've had tw- uh, 30 number ones or whatever it is, <laughs> I mean, and, and you've had uh, 58. So, uh, But I just want to rock them as hard as I can and try to make some new fans out there. So it's, it's starting to happen. Some cool things are happening, and I, I just, I'm just uh, I'm happy, man. Well, man, um, you got a comic book now. So yeah. So that's, you know, that's kind of the, the next generation. And I actually read your comic book, and – and uh, I mean, you've got, you've got uh, morphers, and you got yeah. the mud man, and h- how did that happen? Well, you know, case I have so I have such a wide age demographic of fans, and like when I'm playing at like last night at this fair or, or a fair kind of thing, when I look out and I see there's three and four year olds with homemade Colt Ford T-shirt on <laughs> that know every word, their 35 year old mom and daddy is sitting there singing every word. And then there's 65 year old grandparents are sitting there singing every word. That don't happen very much. You know what <laughs> I mean? I mean, uh, very few times do you get in the car with your 13 year old and they want to hear the same thing that you want to hear. Mm-hmm. So I've been really blessed that that's the case. So for me, I started looking. We started talking about the comic book thing. I'm like, there's nothing really out there that's for country kids. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. mean, there's lots of there's lots of other programs and things that are out there, but there's a lots of stuff for city kids, which is great. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's some rural kids out there that deal with the same issues. You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. meant, uh, so I, I wanted something that those kids and, and, and people could be proud of to go, Hey, this is our thing. I mean, that's, you know, that's cool that y'all got that, but we got, we got this fat redneck guy that's talking about us and talking <laughs> about things that we love and, and to get notes and thanks from parents that go, thank you so much for doing what you do because now you give it to my kid in a way that they want to hear it, but you're talking about things that I want them to hear. I'm a God, family, friends, America. You know, mm-hmm. my shot, my microphone is a shotgun with an American flag wrapped around it. So it's like I'm talking about stuff that they can be proud of. Uh, and I tell them every night it shows you country kids out there, be proud to be a country kid. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, because mm-hmm. you watch TV a little bit, and sometimes they might try to tell you that that ain't the cool thing to be. Uh, so I, I'm – the comic book was just kind of the next step, and I'm I'm going to work on a children's book. Uh, I've been talking to Foxworthy a little bit about that because he's yeah. done a couple of them, and he he's sure has. he's trying to help me a little bit with that because cool. I said I really there's nothing better than a well mannered kid, you know. What I mean, there's nothing to me. I, I love seeing that, so I want to kind of put some rhymes together and and then talk about some manners and some you know and, and polite and thank you and yes ma'am and no sir and things like that the way I was raised. So I think I want to try to work on that too. It's awesome. Awesome, man. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me always. Thanks very much.